house Damien's notes are to be found anywhere, it will be here. Let us begin. Yes, the ether signature is unmistakable. I've felt the traces of House Damia's resonance many times at the great work. Time to see what all the fuss was about. Among the ranks of the Void Scent, there exist entities with the power to call forth their brethren from beyond. The species known as Atomos, however, is uniquely prodigious in this regard. From its distended maw, it can expel an endless procession of Void-born creatures, a talent which sorely tested the Radiant Host in its battles against these abominations. Surmising that the entity itself was acting as a void gate, we endeavored to capture a small specimen and subsequently examine its physiological structure. Our findings reveal that the Atomos had absorbed a planar fissure into its own flesh, which it could expand at will into a functioning gate. Upon further analysis, we identified an ethereal wave pattern emitted during this process. A pattern we were able to emulate by passing crystal stored ether through a specially designed prism. We proceeded to embed said prism into an arcane simulacrum, thus completing what we have dubbed our artificial atomos. How could I have been so blind to the possibilities? This species, not to mention its ability to summon Void Scent, has been discussed among academics for years now. 
Just before the advent of the seventh Umbral Calamity, we received reports of Atomos sightings from every corner of Eorzea. Surely you've at least heard the tales. And still, House Damir went and built a mock Atomos of their very own. I'm not surprised the Archons consigned their work to a restricted archive. It was no easy task, but at last we've unearthed the volume we've been searching for. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't tempted to stay longer. See what other forbidden titles might be lurking on these shelves? Ah, but that would be abusing the very special privilege we've been granted now, wouldn't it? Better not. <laughs>